Good morning. Yay. Woo. <laughs> okay, so I'm Joel, and I'm going to speak to you today about our best and incredible Wix e-commerce platform. I joined the Air Force back in 1991 as a developer, started my career as a developer. I was around 19, 18, 19 years old back then. And I thought I would serve, serve there for around two or three years, get out, conquer the high-tech industry like every young people did back then. Eventually, I stayed there for 30 years. And I became the head of the IT division. I retired as a colonel two years, about two years ago. It was a great journey. I did a lot of meaningful stuff, a lot. I learned a lot, how to develop systems, how to manage people. And when I retired, I decided that I will join Wix because I found here a group of people, a company with a great culture that tries to do a lot of good things for people, for the society. And that's why I'm here. You know, but it's everyone's story. My real career starts when I was seven years old, when my parents decided to open a flower shop. It was a great flower shop. It started as a small business and then became a very large business. It was our family business. This, is what, this was my real commerce experience. It lasted for around 40 years. And, you know, I, in every holiday, in every, in, I spend all my spare time helping my parents. And this was my, this was my first commerce experience. After a few years, when the internet started evolving around 2002, my father came to me and said, Dror, you are a developer, huh? We understand that you are doing great stuff for the Air Force. Actually, we don't know anything about what you are doing. But people say that you're okay. So why won't you... We understand that people sell, sell things over there in the internet. So why won't we sell also flowers in the internet? I told him, wow, it's a great idea. I thought to myself, okay, I'm, I'm already 10, maybe more years as a developer. Uh, I'm heading some groups in the Air Force. Why won't we uh, develop something? I tried to do it. It was a major failure. This, is, this was my first uh, attempt on at selling online. Actually, I never thought that I would close the loop here today, presenting the best e-commerce platform that will allow everyone to do anything and sell anything anywhere. So that's why I'm here today. And when we say e-commerce, actually, we think about, mostly we think about selling physical products. You know, it's not only that, and you already understand, most of you, that in the business, that we sell anything in the website. We can sell physical products, of course, but we also book sessions. Trainers, beauty shops, they book sessions. And it becomes much, and it expands very much. We rent stuff. Actually, we rent anything today. You can rent your bicycle, you can rent your room in the house, you can rent your car, you can rent anything. You sell tickets, you organize events, you want to sell tickets, or you have a delivery service that you want, uh, you want to serve, but actually, we don't know what you want to sell. You want to sell anything. People have crazy ideas what they want to sell, and we understand that we should allow you to do it. We should allow you to develop selling anything. And while you perform a business, while you have a business, you need many flows, many components in your business in order to manage your business. Actually, order and shipment, most of the platforms will give you order and shipment. Also, pickup, maybe. But, you know, people want a lot of stuff. They want very special packing or special fulfillment. They want to, to give special discounts, tailor-made discounts for your business. Tax calculation, which can, uh, there's a variety of tax calculation between, depends on what you sell, where do you stay, where is your customer. 
And actually, again, we cannot predict. There's a lot of stuff you want to do in your business. Let's see an example, okay? This is neighborhood provision. They sell groceries. And they want to sell, in the, in the pandemic, they want to survive. And they say, okay, we'll be non-profit non -profit business and we'll continue to sell products to our community to deliver. And we, we are not a profitable business, so we'll charge gratuity. And the developer has to, has to add the gratuity into the checkout. Actually, tips, okay? It looks like a very simple, simple thing to do. But if you think about it, you have to add the tips to the checkout, but you have to add it to the order management, you have to add it to invoices, tax calculation, thank you page, and many more. A simple thing which will cost you as a developer a lot of time. Let's look at another example. Ronnie is a great tennis player, and she wants to uh, give tennis lessons. And Guy is a great runner and he wants to give her running lessons. They say, okay, let's perform a business, let's make a business, but you know what? Let's sell some stuff, okay? Let's sell rackets and, and running shoes. So they, build a, so they build a website. In this website, as you can see here, you can book lessons and you can buy uh, the products. So in order to buy the racket, you have to go to the racket and add it to the cart. And now the, car, the, the racket, stays in the cart. Next, you have to book the lesson, okay? So in order to book the lesson, you have to go back and press book now, and once you, you did it, you have to select time, date, fill all your details, and then book it. In order to book it, you have to pay for it, so you have to go to the pay payment flow. And only after that, you have the, uh, the lesson booked. Now, what we need to do? To buy the racket. So we have to go back to the cart and buy the racket. Again, check out flow, fill uh, the details, fill the payment, uh, do the payment, and then you have both. As you understand here, this is very friction flow. This is not a flow for a great business. If you want to have a business that will, will win the, his business case, he needs to have great flows which be frictionless and smooth. We have to... So that's why we are decided to build the e-commerce platform. Our great engineers that some of them are here and most of them back home will build a great e-commerce platform in order for you as a developer to have the great experience how to build an e-commerce platform. Applause, guys. <laughs> this is an e-commerce platform. It's an open platform for engineers, for you, in order to build a great business. Now let's dive into it and let's have a reminder, okay? What do we have today? Today we have online stores, okay, in Wix. It's a vertical, which will allow you to sell products. A very good one. Allows you to sell products and manage inventory, cart and checkout, and all the flow. We have other verticals, like Wix Music's music, which allow you to sell Wix, uh, music albums, and bookings, which allow you to sell services. Many of these verticals perform a checkout flow. They all perform a different checkout flow. And we understand that it's not the right way to go. So that's why we decided to split. To split stores into two. Once you have the online store and you have the Wix e-commerce platform with these components. As you can see here, you have the car checkout orders and fulfillment, which is the flow, and you have other components that allows you to do anything you need for your business. You can use them all together, and you can use them, each part of them, uh, separately. But the most and advanced important here, that you can integrate 
your own catalog into the Wix e-commerce platform very easily. You have out of the box online stores and Wix bookings integrated into the e-commerce platform. And you'll have more in the future, like Wix events and others. But again, this is something to remember. The most important thing here, and you can see it in the breakout sessions, while you'll, if you'll join the breakout session, how to build your, uh, to integrate your own catalog into the e-commerce platform. And the way to do it is very easy. You just implement a short function. We call it catalog SPI. You implement a short function that implements the get order, the get catalog item from your catalog. We'll call you. Don't call us. We'll call you. We'll call you whenever we need the data from your catalog. And in a very few easy steps, you'll see it in around 20 minutes in the breakout session. You'll understand how you, you do it. And your catalog can be your storefront, can be anything. It can be Google Sheet with some products. It can be other online or other storefront from another platform. It doesn't matter. You just implement this short SPI and you have all the flow. It can be a rental company that rent RVs, okay? And, but you have all the platform, which allows you to do cart and checkout, payments, uh, integration with gift card, coupons, sh uh, fulfillment, shipment, the all, uh, the, uh, all the things that you need in order to have a great business and we continue to develop it. So if you remember my example, now you have cart that contains the, the, the tennis lesson and the racket. Imagine here, that you have a third item from your catalog. It can be here in the same card, and you have a full checkout with, with, with these three items all together. And we can, will continue to develop it to allow you to do more special things on it, like different shipment, different payments, etc. In order to do that, we just develop a short SPI that knows how to get the items from the different catalogs. That's it. Very easy. As I said, you see in the, in the breakout session, which will be led by our engineers. And that's not enough, because we understand that you need more freedom, and you need the flexibility to change the logic of the platform while it's needed. And in order to do that, we develop, we, we develop more SPIs, there are more entry points for you to change in order to bring your own logic. And how you do that? So these are the four SPIs. Two of them will be rolled out today, and the two of others will be coming soon. And you will have a different breakout session for these SPIs. These SPIs allow you to change the logic of the platform. Let's see it. Shipping. Shipping is something can be very unique. You know, my father used to do deliveries by himself. And it depends on his mood. Today he works from in the morning. Uh, the, uh, the, tomorrow he will do it only at the afternoon. And, you know, it depends on his mood. No platform can support my father's shipping methods. I'm telling you that. So if I was a developer, I just need to implement this short function that says, okay, father, just click here. To, to say to, for your customers what is your delivery method, and then while we get to, to choose the delivery method, method from in the buyer perspective or, I don't know, in the fulfillment uh, stage, we'll call you, you'll return the uh, shipping method, and that's it. You have out of the box weak shipping settings. You have out-of-the-box integration with third, uh, with third parties, like, like uh, Shippo. But you can have your own logic here. Tax. Again, tax is a very complex flow. It can be very complicated while you are, we are talking about multi-catalogs. And 
you need your own, maybe you need your own tax. You have a Valara out of the box. Integrated into the e-commerce platform, you can use it straight ahead. But you can also develop your own tax. Very easy. And you can be, it can be flat, it can be dependent on the, the items in the cart, and it can be dependent on your logic, of course. Discounts. Discounts is something that, you know, my mother used to say, it depends also who is the guy and what is he buying and what's my mood. So I thought to myself, okay, how can I develop something like that? And I still don't know because this is my mother, okay? But uh, you have weak discount out of the box. In, in this case, you can develop two, uh, two short functions. One is the trigger. Let's say yesterday it was a very rainy day, and I wanna, I wanna give 30% on umbrellas in a rainy day, okay? So the trigger will be, is it a rainy day? The logic will be, if it's umbrella from, this kind, from that kind, let's give them 30%. Or increase the price of delivery, I don't know. So you can develop it very easy and very fast. Additional fees, as you saw in Avishai's uh, presentation. Actually, true story, okay? I took Uber yesterday. Did you look at your receipt from Uber? Have you seen how many additional fees do you have there? You have the black car fee, congestion fee, Waiting time fee, and I don't know, it was a five or six additional fees. Okay, great business. So I really don't know what fees you want to charge. My parents used to charge packing fee because if someone wants more greens and nice packing, so you pay more. You don't have anything out of the box here. <laughs> but you can have your own Logic, very easy. Do you remember my first example? Adding the gratuity to the, the tips to, the, to this store? I think it will be around 20 minutes of dev development, and that's it. You have the tips. This is the four entry points that allows you to change the logic of the platform. We understand, guys, that it's all about your flexibility. It's the flexibility that you have to build a tailor-made business. Because each business is different than the other. Each business wants to compete and wants to win. This his business case. So that's why we allow you to use a platform that will do the, all of the things that you don't want to do as a developer and to maintain a site in a great site, and you have all the ecosystem of Wix. You have blocks, as you saw, as you saw in, my previous, in the previous keynote. You have the editor, you have all the things that Wix can give you, and you have the ability to change the e-commerce logic. And then you can build many, many tailor-made businesses. And again, it's your freedom. We're developing for developers. We're developing for you in order to, to use the platform to, to, develop the, to have the freedom to develop anything you like. You know, I had a long career in the uh, Air Force. I had my career in the flower shop, okay? It's always about that. How can I be flexible? How to, can I, I be free to do anything I like? but I don't want to mess with all the other things that I don't want to, don't want to, use, don't want to mess with them, okay? So we allow you to do that. Thanks to our great engineers. Some of them are here, and some of them are back home looking at us. So go out and join the breakout session. You understand there exactly what I said with the SPI and how you can develop it. We have Door, Door, and Dahlia, which will guide you, guide you there. Yes, two doors, two doors. Uh, I know, draw, door, door. It's something that you will use to today. And uh, actually, I want to thank you for listening. And it, it's really excited to be here. And I'm look, we are looking forward to see, we're very curious to see what you're going to do with it, because it's endless. Thank you very much.